Hey everyone, I'm going to walk you through the session and source analysis by Moengage Analytics. So the session and source analysis is one of the key criteria for measuring the ROI on your marketing efforts. And it also gives you some of the major metrics related to your engagement and your traffic quality to know the best traffic sources or mediums or the campaigns. So in session and source analysis, you will be finding different report types. So the first report type that we offer is the session count. So what exactly is session count? Session count shows the total session count across the source properties such as source or medium. So let's say that I have selected my first report that is going to be session count. I can either, uh, you know, make it very specific to any specific source or medium campaign content term platform app version or SDK version even. So let's say that I'm trying to uh, find out the session count for any specific platform. So maybe I can find it for a platform like iOS or platform like Android or a web platform. So now let's say that I'm just trying to see it on, a, on an overall. Now, uh, or, or let's say I'm not trying to break it down for any specific filters uh, right now. Now, this is gonna be uh, the selection of my report type. The next step could be uh, filtering users. Either I can go with, uh, you know, this particular report analysis for all the users, or I can also perform a specific user segmentation that could be based on the user property, behavior, affinity, or custom segment as well. So to make it simpler, let's say that I'm trying to go with all the users here. Now, uh, one of the major features that we can offer is this particular report, you could see this particular report for some specific source properties as well. So let's say that I am trying to see what exactly is the session count look like for uh, the specific platform and also for the specific uh, campaigns. So on a maximum, I can select two different source properties here and I can select the duration based on my choice. When I'm hitting apply, I'll be seeing a trend of this particular session count that based on uh, how exactly it looks like on each day and what exactly is a split look like on, uh, let's say that uh, this is gonna be uh, for Android platform and for New Year campaign, what exactly is the count look like? I can see a whole trend in terms of a line chart and I can see the similar table as well. Apart from this, uh, these both tables and lines could be uh, easily pinned to your custom dashboard where whether you can uh, see your summarized result or you can have a dashboard that could be shared with your peers as well. Uh, this particular analysis could also be viewed in terms of different granularities. Like I can also break it down or just make the granularity on an hourly basis or weekly or monthly basis. Uh, I can also try and seeing this particular analysis in forms of uh, the area bar column on pie charts. So let's say that I'm trying to see this particular analysis now on the column chart. What I'll be getting is uh, gonna be the total count for, uh, you know, each and every selection. So let's say that what exactly uh, uh, is the count for all um, the session count for Android user on the Easter campaign look like. And I'll be getting those results here. If you hover upon it on the tooltip, you, you can see the session count for uh, this particular split. Or you can also see in the uh, tables what exactly is the count look like based on the split of platform and campaign and what exactly is the percentage of it. So these are the uh, uh, some sort of key metrics or the key important reports that could be easily built using the session resource analysis. So now that we will look at the next analysis type, that is the average session duration. So average session duration uh, could be calculated by the sum of session duration divided by total number of session. So this shows the, you know, as you can see the description here, this shows the duration uh, of the selected source property. This, uh, and it will be showing the average duration of those specific properties. Now, let's say that I'm trying to find this particular analysis. I'll be seeing a trend line that how exactly, uh, you know, the different source properties that I've selected campaigns or platform. Uh, let's let's just keep, keep this analysis very simple and let's just look at it based on the uh, platform to have an easy understanding. So what I'll be seeing here is like, based on the different prop, uh, platform that I have, iOS, Android, and web, what exactly is my average session duration on each day look like? 
as I'm seeing here on 22nd March, the average session duration for Android is 14 minutes, 14 seconds. Similarly, I'm seeing on 25th March for the web users, it is five minutes, 10 seconds. And uh, I can also see a detailed table based on each day, what exactly it looks like. And that could be easily downloaded. And uh, you know, you can also try and doing your own levels of uh, custom uh, work if you want to do over um, Excel or Google Sheets. Now let's look at the other uh, report type that is average session per user. This is a very important uh, metric that as a marketer or as a product manager, you would want to track because you want to understand that on an average, uh, a user is like on an average, how many sessions a user is completing, right? And you want to see the average number of sessions per user across maybe platform or maybe uh, across different, uh, you know, app versions or SDK version. So let's go here uh, with the split of the platform as well. And let's see that what exactly is the average session duration, uh, average sessions per user look like. If you would see uh, uh, here on 24th March on a day, what I'm seeing is like on Android, the average sessions a user is trying to do is like 2.2 sessions. And similarly on iOS, a user is particularly trying to do 1.3 uh, average session, right? And this is a very important metric to understand uh, your user's engagement on your platform. And by this, you can drive or define what could be the better engagement strategy that you could make and that could attract your users to be more engaged and take more and more session on your specific platform. Uh, the next uh, report is the average conversions per user. So, uh, or sorry, this is going to be average conversions per session. So this uh, particular uh, analysis will be defined based on the conversion goal. That is the order successful. And we'll be again seeing this particular analysis based on, uh, let's say each uh, platform as well. So this analysis, what exactly average conversion per session tells you. So this shows the average number of conversions uh, per session across selected platforms that we will be seeing. So if you, if you would see here on 22nd March, the average conversion uh, on, on each session or like on per session is 0.2. Similarly here, if you would see uh, uh, the on an Android, I'm seeing on 27th March, my average conversion in uh, per session level looked like one point, uh, sorry, 0 0.18. So here, if you, if you would notice that you would be able to see that on each and every day and in uh, like per session level, how exactly my user conversion looked like, how many users are actually what exactly is a user conversion uh, trend look like day over day and which platform is performing better in terms of converting the users, right? So this sort of easy reporting could be, uh, you know, just by one click, you, you get uh, try uh, and drive from using session source analysis. Next metric is the conversion count. So we will also try finding this particular conversion count uh let's say that we'll not go with platform right now let's say that we'll just go with the sources and try seeing this analysis so what exactly conversion count gives you so this conversion count shows the number or the total number of conversions across the selected sources and for conversion count or conversion report calculation the moengage system takes conversion activity per event present in moengage dashboard you can try see this data in uh, settings you can just get into settings uh, and then you'll have to check on the app settings and in the general details you can see this data as well so here if you would see across the different sources what exactly is the conversion count look like uh, for for my users uh, so here if, if you if you would see that uh, let's say that my source is google or my sources, let's say here Google and on 24th March for my specific source, the conversion count is 32. Here, similarly, if you, if I'm trying to see that what exactly is the source conversion count for source Google look like on 27th March. So the conversion count goes around 36. So here, if you'd see, you would see, you'll be able to see uh, 
that what exactly uh, is a conversion count for all my organic or direct users. So that is fairly higher than the other uh, source of acquisitions. So with this, you can try and identify that what are the different acquisition sources uh, perform, uh, performing in terms of identifying the different levels of conversion count and which is the best performing source that gives you the highest conversion count. Similarly, you can, if you try and breaking it down based on, let's say the platform, you'll be uh, able to see what exactly is the platform that gives you the highest or higher conversion count and how exactly the conversion count trend look like across different platform. So these are the, some of the very important report, but uh, that are essential for any types of business, be it in, you are in e-commerce industry or OTT or financial industry. You can get all these um, uh, details just by one click. You can also see the revenue here. So the revenue report shows the total revenue for the selected source or any of the specific properties. So uh, for revenue report, what exactly are the major terms that we take in consideration? We uh, take the conversion goal here by default as order successful and the revenue attribute as price. You can again see these details, what, that what exactly is your con uh, conversion goal and what exactly is your revenue attribute in your general app settings. And uh, that uh, you, you can check and based on that you can also try and seeing that what exactly is your revenue trend look like uh, and what exactly is the average revenue for since, since I've selected the split on the platforms. So what exactly is my average revenue for Android or what exactly is this for iOS? Uh, it looks like and on any specific day, let's say that uh, on 28th March, what exactly has been my uh, average revenue for iOS? So as I'm seeing here, it's close to 1.84 million. And on a similar day, I'm, I'm trying to see that for Android, it is around 14 million. And you would be able to see that what exactly is your average revenue uh, trend look like. Now, one of the major, majorly important case uh, use cases that marketers want to see that, hey, what exactly is the revenue that I'm getting uh, on different plat uh, campaigns? So here, if you would be able to see that for the Christmas campaign on uh, 26th March, the revenue that I'm getting is 332K. And similarly, on, 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 on the same day for the New Year campaign, what the revenue I'm getting is 404K. So this particular revenue report will allow you to understand and check that how exactly is your revenue trend look like on different uh, either uh, campaigns or on other property. And it will help you to draw that what exactly is the e effectiveness or what exactly is the trend uh, look, look like on different properties uh, around revenue. And you will be able to visualize uh, your revenue trend in detail. Now the uh, last report that we offer uh, is the bounce rate. And the bounce rate uh, is majorly calculated by all sessions with fewer than 10 seconds of duration are majorly defined as bounce session. And bounce rate is the percentage of bounce session concerning the total number of session. And this report is also again available based on um, each uh, source property. So let's say that again, I'm trying to see this bounce uh, rate based on each and every platform. And I'll be able to identify that what exactly is the trend of bounce rate look like on uh, each and every platform, uh, be it web, Android, and iOS. And it will also be helping me in terms of understanding that, uh, let's say that among the whole, uh, uh, you know, user engagement, I'm, I'm trying to see on 28 March, I had 18% uh, of bounce rate. And let's say that if I'm trying to see it in, on an overall, that based on the selected date duration, what exactly has been my bounce rate? So I'm, I've seen that on a web platform, the bounce rate has been 30%. That is fairly high. Similarly, Android, it is 19% or in iOS, it is 16%. So this report will allow me in terms of further investigate and understand that what are the major factors that causes the bounce rate. Now I can probably try and drill it down based on the multiple other properties as well. So let's say that I'm trying to see that based on what all different sources uh, and uh, different campaigns. I'm, I'm seeing the results of the bounce rate. And this particular in investigation will also allow me to understand the effectiveness of the source of acquisitions 
and the campaigns and what exactly has been the user's engagement through the, those look like and are users actually engaging or just bouncing back or maybe just not completing a good session on my platform. So this is the all details of uh, session source analysis. And as uh, you, you could uh, be able to identify multiple different use cases and multiple different reports that you might need for your business. And uh, I really hope that session source analysis will allow you to perform or get these uh, different level of engagement uh, reports and you could do more uh, in terms of uh, betterment of your engagement strategy or betterment of your uh, root cause analysis around uh, these engagement metrics. Thank you.